Hearts Band. It is Ten second. It is Dyer's Band. Radiance turn to ban. Ten second it is dials ban. Ten seconds. Radiance turn to ban. Five seconds remain. Dials turn to ban. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. None on this stage shrink from a fight. Dyer's turn to Radiance, turn to pick. Right there. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. This rebalance the fight. seconds five seconds Ten seconds. Five seconds remain.
It is Radiant Spam. Riki. Check. Hey guys, good afternoon or good morning to wherever, wherever you are in the world. So we have Neon Esports versus Galaxy Racer Esports in Top Clans 2020. This is this is a tiebreaker match. Uh, there's a three-way tie with Galaxy Racer and Execration. So only only two teams will move forward to the playoffs. So this is the first match. Oh yeah. Good luck, good luck to all teams. Radiance turn to ban. All right, so far the picks. Let's check out the picks. So, Neon Esports. First two picks are Faces Void and Timber Saw, while Galaxy Racer took Tiny and Oracle. Yep. And then they, Neon took Lina and Ricky. So these are cheesy picks by Neon. Sometimes they do post 5 Timber Saw or post 3 Timber Saw. Five also with the seconds. Ricky. Also, don't forget uh, Janwell's Faceless Void. Uh, faceless. Janwell's, yeah. Janwell's Faceless Void. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of confusing when Neon picks Dying their heroes. While well, Galaxy Racer, they have Viper and White Spirit. The last ban for Neon Esports is Phantom Lancer. So they don't want to deal with the Illusion heroes. And AM is a pretty good ban against the Lina Timber Sockets. Uh, also the Faceless Void, of course. Ten seconds. Five so, yeah. seconds. We're waiting for Galaxy Racer's last pad. Radiance turn to pick. They banned the Trian. Yeah, it's a really strong hero to defend. Shove out lanes as well if it's a core hero. So yeah. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Our hero. Three, two, one. Dyer's turn to pick. Earthshaker. Earthshaker is a pretty good lockdown. Yeah, because they lock a reliable stun. You only have the Lina and the Faceless Void, so Earthshaker is a pretty good pick here. Uh, yeah. With Neon Esports, it's really Ten hard seconds. to predict who is playing who because they're very versatile with their heroes. Five seconds. Uh, but I guess the Simbersaw is probably going to be. A post five because it's countered by the Viper already. Yeah, they'll probably run a it's either a faceless void carry or Ricky carry. Yeah. With the Galaxy Racer, they have Terror Blade as the last pick. It's a really hard carry right there. So. Best trees with this tiny signature hero. KOXY off lane viper. Alright. So let's see. Yopaj is picking the Lina. Let's see, Janwell picks the Timbers of 5, Neon Scam with the Ricky. And so Playhard will be playing the Earth Shaker. JG will be on his faceless void. 
pretty confusing for Neon. It's really hard to predict Ten who is seconds. saying who. Five seconds remain. So, yeah, this is the first match of the three-way tiebreaker against Galaxy Racers and Execration. Only two teams will advance to the playoffs. Bottom two will be eliminated. So, yeah, good luck. Good luck to all teams. So how long does this start? It starts now. I almost trust you. All right. So I have a pause here. Let me just have a quick pause for myself for for a while. Alright, let's give formal introductions to the teams. So, play hard will be on his Earthshakers, Kem playing Ricky, JG's Faceless Void, Yopage, mid with his Lina, and Janwell, Timber Saw, Post 5, while in Galaxy Racers team. You have 343 in Oracle, Alacrity with his Void Spirit, KYXY with his Viper, Destries with his Signature Tiny, and Ghost with his Terror Blade. So, yeah. Galaxy Racer, they have a pretty much straightforward lineup. You know, pretty standard. You know who's playing who. You know, you know which hero is going where. While in Neon Esports, they have a hold on. While in Neon Esports, they have a what do you call this? Pretty confusing lineup. But we have we, I guess some of you already saw Janwell's Timber So Five. Um, yeah, so JG faces Void, we already saw that. Your patch's hero is pretty standard as well. And, yeah. Remember, I guess the, the only confusing here is the Janwell Post 5 for most. If you're, you're not, if you weren't able to, you know, watch some of the games. So, Neon Esports has been doing this in some several, uh, in their past few games. Just message. Right, so let's see Avalanche. Oh, we're seeing a lot of harass here in the safe lane. Oh, KOXW is dropping low. Oh, they get the first blood to KOXY. XY. But I think he's going down, but it's good. They already got the first blood. See, this whirling death is pretty much hurts a lot, especially when you have trees around. It also has a low cooldown, 6 seconds only, 70 mana. It's really good for harassing. 
Also in the mid lane, you'll see your patch taking on alacrity. Alacrity is taking some damage at mid, but I'll try to direct my own camera. So play arts, try to get his level 2, pull the creeps. Just try to get his level 2 here. Alright, I guess he got his level 2. Oh, some action on board. I didn't oh, want to be seen like this. Kem and Jonwell falls down. Okay, we're X, Y, and the streets. Maybe a miscalculation on their go. Uh, yeah. They need to be careful now. I mean, the stress is level three. Kyrie is level six, though. No. But in the mid lane, oh my god, I'm missing so much kills. <laughs> Your patch took down alacrity. On, let's get back here. So yeah. The deaths of the safe lane cost one level up for the off lane of GXR. We have to be careful now. They are rotating mid. They probably want to take. I mean, they probably want to kill Alacrity one more time to put him off his game. Fisher uh, coming in. Fisher yeah. connected. But. What do you call this? Dissimilate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm not a Void Spirit player, so I don't, I don't know how to use this skills. Just dissimilate out. Oh, just missed the reward. Too bad. But yeah. Roots? Oh, Tiny is closing in. I see I must resign myself to stop causing harm. Oracle gets DD now, he's driving away, driving tired away. Oh, they're still trying to go for your patch here. Toss back. Simulate out. Daniel is here as well. They're trying to get the hold of Yopaj and Yopaj goes down. Daniel is still fighting for his life. He still has two kills, but he's still going down. Nice rotation from the side of Galaxy Racers. Hope they still want to get more. They are. Oh, Playheart goes down as well with the Purifying Flames and the DD rune from 343. Oh my god. They got a lot from that mid fight right there, man. First rotation. For the rune. So yeah. There we go. So that's what's happening. This game is level 4. He has raindrops to negate the burst damage from the offlane. KYXY and Destry is tiny, but I don't know. is a bit of trouble here. Toss back, Avalanche. Oh. Timber chain out, but I think he's still gonna die. He's gonna fall down to KYXY. Man. Galaxy Racer are starting to look really good. I don't know if they can take much more, but I guess they need to take their levels and try to fight back. But let's see. Ghost is having a pretty good time on top as well. It's just it's just against a faceless void, you know. It's basically free farm. Oh. Rune coming in. Oh, it's very easy to take the rule. Oracle trying to get a hold of your badge, but they won't connect. Let's 
try to learn the skills Aether Remnant, Dissimulate, or Resonant Polar Sign with that Astral Step. Good Spirit, the Aether Remnant. We are bash, we are bash with the stun. If not connect, but I think it's gonna fall down to 3 4 3. Oh god. This is sad. Er this is a disaster for Nian Esports early game. Alright, they're just gonna try to secure Skem's lane here. Try to cover him. I mean, pretty much need to salvage at least a lane here. And they, I think they found Jan Rail, they can get hold of Jan Rail, but Jan Rail just timber chains out. Is under attack. Alright, so Ricky got his level 6. Sports are smoking. Yeah. Smoking to mid. Oh, I think your patch is in trouble here if he doesn't back off. I think they got him. They don't. Oh, your patch senses. Spidey senses. He knew. He probably knew. But let's see. TB is now free farming in the jungle. He has threats. Two raid bats, eight minutes, almost eight minutes, and uh, faceless void is going for his what? What did he got? Oh, got something happened. Oh, Jadmil's in trouble. Jadmil falls. Out position, my friend. What were you doing there? So we have level eight void spirit. Level 4 Earthshaker. Yeah. Okay, well, XY and, and Sports are trying to secure his bottom lane. He's building, he's building for his mechanism now. Uh, what they want to try to do is uh, get an exchange tower here in the top lane and let Janwell you know, defend. But I think that's Dyer's not gonna happen. Top tower is under attack. At least they try to get this exchange tower. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is no more. They do have Chrono, they do have Laguna. Scam is level 6. So I think they need to do Dyer something. They need to try to hunt this, at least this TB down. TB is going for his jumps. Another pick off in the mid lane, mid jungle. Really bad here. Try to chrono, no. Dyer should look to their top tower. They are still level four. Almost ten minutes in. Yeah, they need to do something here, man. He broke the smoke. Oh, what a play by 343. He puts wards here. He's, I think he saw the smoke. He just broke the smoke. In the river. There is little hope for Dyer's So that first smoke was messed up. Didn't gain Death anything from that smoke. Bounty. Passively farming. I think they should do something with their skills. At least get something off from Galaxy Racer. And here's the Chrono. First Chrono of the game. Let's see if they can try to burst down this boy spirit stun. Oh, 343 with his ulti on Alacrity. Will he save him? I think he's still gonna die. Yes, he d does go down. And now 343 is in trouble right here. They're still going. Vipers TPing mid. They TP mid already. And now player is trying to pull off his Ego Slam but Destries with his Avalanche Toss on Playhard. I mean, the Neon Esports is in, is in trouble now, they need to get out. And I think Skem is going to go down, he does go down. This is a pretty deep dra dive by Neon Esports. They tried to kill 343 but they weren't able to put him down. Instead, 
They get to kill Playhearts, Earthshaker, and Scam's weekly carry. What a disaster for Neon. It started with a good chrono. They did get the voice break down, but 343, the Oracle was able to ulti Alacrity, which dragged the fight longer. And now they were forced to kill 343 and dive with Toby to the tower. Resulted into play hard and Wikimaru die. Radiant should look to their middle tower. JG is going back to farming since his chrono is down for another 60 seconds. And Chadwell, what else? What else is happening here? And TB was pretty much farming the whole game. The whole 12 minutes of the game. And his net worth is top of the net worth now of 6k. And it's only getting bigger. If you don't put a stop on if you don't put a stop to this. Alright, 3 4 3. He's safely farming in the raid inside right here because he's have, he has his ward right here. You know, he knows if they're coming for him. And if he dies, it's, it's nothing really. But it will be something for Neon at least. They get one or two kills off, get more like XP. They're playing passively here. They're trying. Oh, the Chronosphere is up. And they need to they need to do something right now. Put the pressure on Galaxy Racer. Or maybe they they just, maybe they just want to play passively or not. Oh no, they're pulling up a smoke. So Chronosphere down here. JG Chrono two players again. It's the th it's the uh, Oracle and Void Spirit. But now they're trying to go back. 343 ulti on Alacrity, but they, they're gonna get 343 this time. And Alacrity running, Aether Remnant, Simulate out. And I think he's gonna get, oh, he's not gonna get away with it. They gave everything to those two heroes and maybe gained something, at least something like an XP or what? That's 300 gold, almost 400 gold on 343 taken by your patch but in exchange they took the mid tower of Dion and now this tree is tossed back to KYXY and ghosts that's a dead earth shaker right there Dion should look to their middle tower all right they need to get back to farming JG is going, he's transitioning into a carry hero right now. He's going to, for an MKB. While Skim still building on his defusal blade. He's 15 minutes in, and I mean, he's pretty, he's pretty behind. Oh, because of that blunder in the safe lane. Now it's GXR's time to smoke. They smoke for a bounty money. And again, while this is happening, Ghost is just free farming. He even took a kill, did he? Took... Yeah, he, he got a kill. Still free farming his jungle, building his manta now. And you see, 343 and Alacrity are just sticking together, trying to get a kill. And now I think JG's in trouble if he doesn't be careful here. Are they going to fight JG? JG shows. Gonna try on that, but then I think JG is in trouble. He used his MOM. <laughs> JG, I'm very sorry, brother. But yeah, now they're trying to make a move in here in the, in the top lane. 343 is more. Oh, Avalanche toss and Janwell. We burst it out. With flame, purifying flames. Pretty good ward placing here by 343. 
is under attack. They're, they, see, they're trying to secure the vision first before they make a move. Which is pretty standard. It's pretty basic, but then they're pulling off. They're, they're pulling it off. Stop tower is in style. They're, now they're trying. They're gonna try to reward. They're gonna try to take the triangle of the raided side. Uh, to limit, to limit Neonese sports uh, with their farm. Uh, Earthshaker needs his dagger, but then he's still 500 away, 500 gold away from his dagger. That's gonna take a while, especially if you're if you're just farming the neutral camps. Nina is just trying to counter push the lanes. Scam is still working on his Dyer's defusal blade. To their bottom tower. Well, the there is going, it's going to fall. Oh, man. It's going to fall to alacrity. And this trees is still running though, but no. He did fall down eventually. Still waiting for his dagger, 500 gold away. Now, Ricky, I think Ricky got his. Refusal blade now, maybe they can make moves of their own. Dyer's bottom tower is in danger. Alright, so they're pinging that they're there. Alacrity is there. Assholes the out. Alright, they're gonna ch try to chase. Ricky now has his defusal blade, they maybe. I mean, Alacrity is too fast. He got his face boots and his Yule Scepter. Couldn't catch him. Now JG is try still trying to build his MK. He has his chrono. Maybe they can make a really good fight just to get some points back. I mean, just to get some XP or gold back. All right, so let's see if they're gonna do something here. They're assembling in mid. I think both teams know they want. I think Neon wants to fight and Galaxy Racers. Knows that, and now here they, they saw Ricky. Avalanche toss on Ricky. Is, is he gonna fall? He does fall with the purifying flames again by 3 4 3. Burst it out, even Johnwell falls down. Man. Galaxy Racer is exec executing this, this game perfectly. In my opinion. I mean, Ghost hasn't been. There was no single pressure, pressure terribly. They didn't even try to smoke and find the terror blade because they're, they're too busy. It's either they're too busy farming or dying. should look to their middle tower. But yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is in danger. Oh, Viper's Viper got his guardian greaves. Now it's building to what crimson. Building a oh, vanguard and eventually going to become a crimson horse. Then we get here. Ah. Okay, we have a smoke. Now they want to do something. Let's see if they they can pull this off. They're just standing here in the triangle. Um, oh, they're trying to draw a long way around. Long way. See if they can bait. Let's see if they can bait. Oh, they saw, they saw, they saw the ward. Now they know. Now see, they want to they try to take down KYXY. They bursted him down, but still, now he's gone. And now three. Alacrity. Oh, yeah. They gave everything to a Viper, but then. A disaster for Neon here. Now they're taking no shot. Why 
right again. Chronosphere onto two. Alacrity will fall down and let's see if they can get more. Ghost is charging in with his Aegis and now they try to take down KYX. Why KYX falls down and now they need to run or they can fight. Janwell still have a lot of mana. But then Skem is trying to chase. Trying to take down the Stevie, but he still have Sunder and he got Aegis. Also, your patch trying to get 3 4 3 in the back lines, but yeah. He took down two core heroes. Maybe they, this can help them take more objectives, but then they fall back to farm, which is maybe it's okay because the TV still had his Aegis and Sunder. DDU, Alacrity will try to take this DDU. Maybe try to pick someone off. Oh, we're going straight for JG. JG has no mana. This is, this is a pretty good target for JXR. Run, JG. You don't have any TP, too. Oh, blink in Avalanche. But no toss. Alacrity is still going for JG with no mana. And he falls down. Oh, he's not yet. He's still alive. My bad, my bad. JG is still alive. So the highest net worth there in the radiant side is Lina, but I is he's Lina is just an easy target here. You avalanche him or you toss him back and the others can easily kill him. Viper is now building his Crimson Guard, 343 three guts his Ghost Scepter. Now, this is not an easy target for Skem. Because mainly when you have your Diffusal Blade, you go for the supports. But this support has a Ghost Scepter, and Tiny isn't really. He's quite tanky. Because he's, he's, a, he's a strength hero. Now, JXR is making a move on Neon Esports Jungle. Radiant Jungle. Skem farming here. Trying to make a move on Skem. Toss. Avalanche. Toss. Goes with his right clicks. And I think Skem's gonna fall down. He is gonna fall down. Dead. Really bad scaling for Skem in this game. He only got his Diffusal Blade 24 minutes. And he couldn't even kill the Oracle. Because of the Ghost Scepter. A player just waiting here in the back line probably wants to pull off a big fight. But they still have the Aegis and the Aegis expires in one. One minute and 45 seconds. Under attack. <laughs> so JG got his MKB, but he needs he still needs a third item. BKB. JXR are just playing in the raided side right now and the only thing they need the raided side need to do is to farm the dire side. Which is a bit hard to do, especially if they got they got your side covered or the lanes covered or shoved I mean oh, now this might be a good pickup for JG if he picks he does he's lucky with his last with the time lock but they, now they know the JG has no chrono and we'll see if they can defend this without a chrono Dyer's bottom tower 
Oh, oh JG, what were you doing there, man? Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, JG's down, but he has no chrono still. I think this, this is a Rax down. Do they, they do have Echo Slam. They do have reliable skills. Nina has his big AP stun on Ghost. Oh, Ghost doesn't have his Aegis anymore. They can try to burst him down if they can. But 343 is right, right in the back line. Maybe Skem needs to target 343. At least smoke him to not multi to whoever they're trying to burst. It's a free racks for JXR. You're gonna wait for the next meta or maybe next Roshan. But then if GG gets his Chronosphere, then Neon probably can do can make a smoke. They can probably smoke and try to force the fight that they do they do have one smoke. Oh, they do smoke. And Skim is in trouble right here. Skim, buddy, run! GG's coming in, no chrono yet, but they're just trying to bluff, maybe trying to bluff up. They are in trouble here, Fisher out to KYXY. KYXY is in a really bad position, they're trying to take him down, but stick and ulti by 343. He's still alive, chrono, he gets nothing but nothing, my friend. I think this is game. Team Booker so buys back, but GG is, is, is in trouble right here. Uh, Disaster fight by Neon. I think this is game, guys. Lean about his BKB already. And Ricky, he was going for his Manta Nullifier, but TB is so big right now, it's pretty hard to kill him. JG goes down, he has buyback, but no chrono. Yeah. There's nothing killing this terror blade unless unless you unless you pull off some kind of a synchronized skill. That, yeah, it's hard to kill this TB man, to be honest. I have Scotty. He has a reaver. This is Mega Crypt's now. I'm gonna try to pull off one more. Oh, oh no match. Alacrity is just being a nuisance here. And now JG in the back lines. I think he's gonna fall down. Echo Slam onto 3, but then there's not enough damage because KY XY with his greeds. He can try to play this still, Neon, but I think you are dead. Oh, stun missed. But then they're trying to go for KYXY here and KYXY is thundered by Ghost back to full HP but then yeah this trees with the avalanche toss on to Lina this is this is a massacre by GXR yeah Look at they're still not, not still not calling GG but this game is pretty much over this game is diving from the yard now oh shame come on ghost man Guys, so Galaxy Racer takes game one of the three-way tiebreaker. They only need one more, and that's against Execration later. And if they get that win, they proceed to the playoffs. But Neon Esports, they are back to the ropes. They need to win against Execration as well to be able to go 
to the playoffs. So the next match will be around 3 p.m. pH time. So hopefully I see you guys later. So yeah, peace.